exciting for the first time to see a, an audience react to the film, obviously. You can get a lot out of watching other people watch and how they react to it. Ultimately, when you're making a film, it could be a passion project or whatever, but you're also having to think of audience in mind and wanting to create something entertaining um, and, and, a, and a strong enough narrative. Whether it's a comedy or drama, you still need a strong narrative in there. And that's something you can keep on getting better at as a filmmaker. The one entertaining thing, I guess, still is just with a different audience and hearing them react and see what jokes work and don't. And, you know, I'm still learning as a filmmaker, so kind of learning how to ride the, the, the waves of the editing, of the, of the crests and peaks and the, the people laughing and what parts don't make sense. And then with the next film, I can make that much better. Half the stuff we agree with and we find completely funny with the other person is writing or makes sense. And then the other half of us will kind of rein in the other person, and kind of fill in each other's um, gaps where one will remind, oh, we need to worry with the structure here more. And the other one will say, well, that's good, but we need to punch up the comedy here. Um, so you can have someone to bounce those ideas off. You can't just co-write something where you're all the you're both in agreement the whole time saying everything we're writing is genius and then there's no second guessing. You want that amalgamation of, of, of loving what you're doing, but also kind of acting as checks and balances for each other as well. To have it there makes makes a lot of sense to have it in nature, to have it where it's a bit warmer outside in May rather than doing like a DVD launch in January. It's just kind of a unique way to present a film and we want to continue with that unique effort we've already started. Recently with the change of the economy where, I mean, when there's kind of retooling and remapping itself and trying to diverse itself in other sectors and, and the arts and media industry seems to be uh, growing a lot more uh, down in Windsor and as a result we're seeing the city embrace that. With this kind of filmmaking, this kind of grassroots level of filmmaking, um, them watching this video right now, them going to buy the DVD, them going to support it, them telling their friends about it, that is the actual difference. I mean, in a larger film where it's Matt Damon or Leonardo DiCaprio, they'll, they'll make their money either way. But for us, this is a huge difference maker. You watching something, being interested in it, and then following through with it, that is the actual difference for us.